Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and of course Arnie does too. On this planet there are plenty of animals that have impressive camouflage. This camouflage can be used both for defence and attack, as it can help the animal hide from predators and it also helps other animals sneak up on their prey. There are some animals that take camouflage to the next level, as some animals use mimicry. Mimicry is an evolved resemblance between an organism and another object or other species. It can be used to completely blend in with its environment, or in some cases an animal will use mimicry to look like a more dangerous animal, as this usually means other species won't bother them. But mimicry can also be used to go on the attack. The spider-tailed horned viper mimics the rocks in the terrain where it lives, but also manages to mimic spiders with its tail. This encourages birds to come over looking for an easy meal before it's too late. In this video I'll be going through just a few mimic species, as I'll be going through five animals that use mimicry. And for our first species we'll be travelling to Central and South America, as we have the snake mimic caterpillar. These creatures are found in the rainforests of Central and South America, where they can blend in with their environment very easily. Although I will be focusing on the caterpillar stage of this animal. In adulthood it is actually a hawk moth. These moths only have a lifespan of around 10 to 30 days and they spend most of this time feeding on nectar before eventually reproducing and dying. The female moths lay small green eggs and eventually these eggs hatch into rather chubby caterpillars. These caterpillars have to get as many nutrients as they can before they transition into moths so they spend most of their time munching on foliage. This is a very vulnerable stage for these caterpillars as there's many birds and lizards that would happily munch on them as they're very nutrient rich. But if a predator were to attack, they really do put on an incredible show. They take in lots of air and puff themselves up, and almost perfectly resemble a snake. This proves very effective at scaring most predators off, and even makes some people feel uneasy. Although it doesn't actually have any weaponry, it will even actively strike at people, just like a defensive snake would. This is a very extraordinary form of mimicry, but this hawk moth is not alone. Many other caterpillars also mimic snakes, with this one resembling a viper. This mimicry also sometimes travels into adulthood, as the wings of an atlas moth have evolved to look like snake heads, so this caterpillar really has to be one of the most impressive mimics in the animal kingdom. But for our next species we'll be heading to the Indo-Pacific as we have the mimic octopus. This species was first discovered off the coast of Sulawesi in 1998 and they still reign here to this day. They tend to prefer warm muddy waters and are very at home in the substrate. Octopuses are some of the most intelligent creatures in the ocean and have come up with many ingenious ways of finding their food and escaping predators. This octopus is no exception as it will often stalk and hunt down its prey which is usually small fish, but it will also forage on the ocean floor and uncover small organisms living in the substrate. This octopus is a relatively small species, reaching a maximum length of around 60 centimetres or 2 feet long. This smaller size makes it a target for many predators, but this octopus has an ingenious way of avoiding them. It changes its colour and its body shape to mimic other animals, such as lionfish, sea snakes, jellyfish and zebra soles. Most predators avoid these animals as they are potentially dangerous, some having venomous bites venomous spines, and some are also poisonous. This species therefore can go about its day unhassled, and will even adapt its mimicry to the situation. These octopuses are often harassed by damselfish, in which case they will mimic a banded sea snake, which is a damselfish predator. This strange behaviour has made them very popular with divers, and this species has to be one of the best mimics in the ocean. But for our next species, we'll be heading to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia, as we have the orchid mantis. Mantises are very well known for their stealthy behaviour, and are known for being very efficient and ambitious hunters. They are known to jump from plant to plant to catch their prey, but in most cases they wait for their prey to come to them. Almost all mantis species mimic plants in some way, but none are quite as pretty as the orchid mantis. Their four walking legs resemble flower petals, and if you were to walk by one there's a chance you wouldn't even notice it. The orchid mantis may be one of the lazier mantis species, as all its work is done for it. Many birds and insects are attracted to plants, as they usually contain sugary nectar. This means that this mantis can wait for its prey to come to it, before striking with incredible speed. Although this insect is very beautiful, its personality and behaviour isn't. Males can be less than half the size of females, and after mating the females will often decapitate and eat the males. Surprisingly the females are reported to show some parental care, as they can sometimes be seen guarding their eggs. Relatively little research has been done on their parental care, and although mothers can be caring, young orchid mantises have been known to eat their siblings. So out of all the animal mimics, this has to be one of the prettiest. But for our next species we'll be heading to the freshwaters of the US, as we have the alligator snapping turtle. This species is normally found in the southeastern United States and tend to prefer sluggish rivers, lakes and backwater swamps. These turtles spend most of their life in the water and are very rarely seen on land. The snapping turtle is often associated but is not closely related to the common snapping turtle, but the alligator snapping turtle is much bulkier and is in fact one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world. It's thought that they can weigh a whopping 180 kilograms and generally reach a size of around 80 centimetres across the carapace. This size and their thick 
shell means that they're safe from most predators, with only humans and alligators going after the adults. After hatching, there's a great risk that they will be picked off by birds or mammals, but if they make it through this, they're thought to be able to live to up to 120 years old. Surprisingly, this turtle's mimicry cannot be seen on the exterior of its body, although it may look like rocks and driftwood, but instead the mimicry lies within its mouth. The alligator snapping turtle is relatively slow and is a very effective ambush predator. They will lie in their murky homes with their mouth open, waiting for unaware prey to get too close. To help entice the fish over, this turtle has a fleshy appendage on its tongue. They wiggle this around to mimic a worm, and this often proves too irresistible for many fish. The alligator snapping turtle is less aggressive than the common snapping turtle, which sometimes makes them more desirable to reptile keepers. They can easily cause flesh wounds and amputate fingers, but they won't bite unless provoked. Today this turtle is listed as vulnerable to extinction, and although habitat loss and hunting has been a contributor, it's also thought that unregulated harvesting for the pet trade has also had a huge impact on their numbers. This harvesting has also had other implications, as many of these pets have been released or have escaped, and they are now invasive in many different parts of the world. So this prehistoric predator has a very useful way of tricking its prey. But for our next species, we'll be heading to sub-Saharan Africa, as we have the fork-tailed drongo. These birds are normally found in open forests or bushland, and are very tolerant of arid climates. This drongo is an insect-eating bird. They will often catch insects on the wing, and also forage for them on the ground. On their protein-rich diet, they can reach a maximum size of around 25 centimeters long. And if I'm brutally honest, they look like a very ordinary bird. But what really makes this drongo unique is its behavior. Many different corvid species are famous for being able to mimic vocalizations. And although this bird is in a different family, it shares this ability. Hunting insects the traditional way can be quite tiring. That's why this intelligent bird has decided to steal meals. This bird often shares its home with meerkats. These meerkats are excellent insect hunters and will even target dangerous scorpions. But meerkats are also very anxious with good reason. Many of Africa's predators target these meerkats as out in the open they are a relatively easy meal. That's why meerkats have a close family bond and have excellent communication. When a meerkat sees a threat, it will often alert the others before retreating to their burrows. The fork-tailed Drongo uses this behaviour to its advantage, as when it sees meerkats that have caught a large prey item, it will mimic their alarm calls which sends them scurrying. This Drongo then has an easy meal and will happily swoop down and steal it. This is a very intelligent form of mimicry and I'm sure the meerkats hate this bird. But that's about it for this video. If you have any other suggestions for videos then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.